Another one bites the dust. Wanted war criminal and Ukrainian Nazi group veteran Craig Lang has been extradited back to the United States. In an apparent deal with the government of interim president Vladimir Zelensky, Lang was shipped back to Fort Myers, Florida on June 3rd. The Justice Department has even thanked the Ukrainian authorities for their, quote, valuable assistance. According to the Justice Department, Craig Lang went on an international crime spree that included a double murder in Florida, attempts to travel internationally to engage in other acts of violence outside of the United States, and a plot to evade law enforcement detection by trading a grenade, guns, and cash to use another person's identifying information to apply for a U.S. passport under an assumed name. This is all very strange because I was literally just talking about this guy. Meet Craig Lang, an American taking refuge in Ukraine who is wanted by the FBI. After returning from war in Iraq and Afghanistan, Lang fell into dispute with his then pregnant wife. She apparently retaliated against him by sending him videos of her having sex with other men. Lang allegedly gathered up body armor, night vision goggles, and two assault rifles. He ditched his base in Texas and drove straight to North Carolina, where his wife lived. He then surrounded her condominium with landmines and attempted to kill her. While on the front lines in Ukraine in 2017, Lang and other Americans fell under investigation by the Department of Justice and the FBI. They are believed to have, quote, committed or participated in torture, cruel or inhumane treatment, or murder of persons who did not take or stop taking part in hostilities and intentionally inflicting grievous bodily harm on them. Leaked documents from the Department of Justice's Criminal Division of the Office of International Affairs claim Lang and other suspects, quote, allegedly took non-combatants as prisoners, beat them with their fists, kicked them, clobbered them with socks filled with stones, and held them underwater. Lang is said to be the main instigator of the torture. He, quote, may have even killed some of them before burying their bodies in unmarked graves. According to the leaks, one American under Lang's command showed FBI investigators a video of Lang beating, torturing, and eventually killing a local. Another video referenced in the leaks apparently shows Lang beating and drowning a girl while a fellow fighter injected her with adrenaline so that she would not pass out while she was killed. Lang allegedly carried out these crimes as a member of the right sector, an organization that's been incorporated into the Ukrainian military. When he came back to the United States, Lang and his friend decided it was their mission to overthrow the socialist government of Venezuela and, quote, kill communists. But there was just one problem. Lang couldn't pay for it, so he wound up murdering a couple and stealing $3,000 from them. While Lang may be off the battlefield, one question remains. What exactly did the Biden administration give for his return? Hey, everyone. Um, if you enjoyed this video or, or any of our other content, uh, please give us a follow on Twitter or subscribe to us on YouTube. It will help us beat the algorithm oligarchs. Thank you.